Hello everyone. Welcome to this video where we will be going over on how to deploy an Ethereum node using the AWS Cloud Development Kit, or CDK. My name is Varsha Narmit, and I'm a solutions architect here at AWS specializing in Web3 and blockchain technologies. In this tutorial, I will walk you through on how to start up a CDK project and import the Ethereum node CDK construct and then deploy an Ethereum node, which you will also be able to see in your AWS console. Just a disclaimer, you will need an AWS account, download Node.js, VS Code, and install AWS CDK version 2. I will link the Git repo and some documents that will help guide you in the description box below. So let's get started. So to start off with, we'll go into our AWS account and more specifically, go into the Amazon managed blockchain service and we'll see that there is no network in here. There is nothing that's been created, but by the end of this video, you will see an Ethereum network with an Ethereum node running. To start off with, we'll have to navigate to the correct folder in which you'll create your CDK project. And we can start up a terminal. So the first command we'll run in here is a command to create a new directory called CDK Ethereum. And then now we'll CD into that directory. So now we're inside of this directory. Now, We'll go get the temporary credentials for our Isengard account and copy paste it in here. And now we will run this init command to initialize our CDK project and specify the language, which we'll be using TypeScript. And from here, we can just type in code dot, which will bring up our VS code in the correct directory. So now we're in VS code. You can just click yes, and we can bring up a terminal in here. And what we'll first do is run this command to install all of our NPM dependencies. And then we can go under lib in here. This is the default code that's in there. However, we'll have to change this up and add code in order to actually deploy an Ethereum node. So we'll just start on line 10. We'll first create our object. And uh, we'll call this Ethereum node one. And then in here, we'll specify the type of network we'd like to deploy, our instance type and availability zone. So let's start first start with the network. Today we'll deploy a Gorily network. And then for the instance type, we can go with standard large. And for the availability zone, we'll go with US East 1A. And then up here, we've imported everything we need. At this point, we'll run some more commands in the terminal within VS Code. We'll first bootstrap everything. So we'll run the CDK bootstrap. This will take a little bit of time so you'll just have to wait for a bit 
So now that you run the CDK bootstrap command, we'll run the CDK synth. And at this point, we'll scroll all the way up top to make sure that everything looks right. So yeah, the type is AWS managed blockchain. Um, and we're trying to deploy a node. We're in the Gorily network and our availability zone is set to US East 1A and our instance type looks right as well. So now that everything looks fine under the resources, we can go ahead and deploy this node by running the CDK deploy command. Now this part will also take some time to deploy an Ethereum node. It'll take around 30 to 60 minutes. If there's any disruptions in the middle, it may take a bit longer as well. I'll wait for this to actually get created. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and make sure that this node has actually been created and I'll show you how we can check that within the terminal and on the AWS console as well. At this point, I would just like to show you what is going on in the AWS console. So if we go to Amazon Manage Blockchain, in the beginning, if you remember, there was no network created in here. However, after we hit the CDK deploy command, in the VS code terminal, we see that an Ethereum testnet Gorily network has been created and is available. However, if we go in here, we can see that a node is being created within this network. And if we click on that node, we can see the details regarding this node, such as the instance type, the availability zone, and the node name. And you can see the status is still creating. And if we go check in the cloud formation, we can see that the CDK Ethereum stack is in progress. And we can check the status in the events. And I'd also like to show you the cloud trail. You can see that the node is being created can see some details and the event record. Once this node has been created, this status will change from creating to available, which I will show you after the node has been created. Now that it's been about an hour, we can go back into VS code and run this command to check what the status of this node is. And we can see that in this Gorily network, we have one node. If you remember from earlier, this is the same node ID that we saw from on the console when it was getting created. And now we can see that the status is available. Now that we saw that the node had been created back in VS Code, we can come back to the AWS console. It's the same one that we saw from a couple of minutes ago. And now we see that the status is available. Thank you for joining me today to learn about how to deploy an Ethereum node using AWS CDK.